Hi, my name is Steve Kinsley. I'm the Chief Wackadoo at Wackadoo Information Systems. Today we're going to talk about working with agents. Now there's a couple of things that you can do. First of all, adding, modifying, managing the list of agents that you work with. Second of all, there is sending them a link to allow them to, without having to do any login or anything, update and submit a contract for you to work on. And three, there's a way for you to send them a link, again, that they can click on without having to do any kind of login to look at the status of one of their contracts. So without further ado, let's take a quick look at adding an agent. We come over to the menu. Again, we start on the page that you get when you first log into Contract to Close. We're going to come down to Agents, and we're going to come down and say New Agent. And I'm going to say... Whoops, Andy Agent, really creative name, and we're going to go ZZZ Agency, and, you know, this is the address that I use for all addresses when I'm doing sample data. The name of the town is Five Corners, and I'm in some state, and I have a hopefully not a real postal code. Well, I'm sure it is, but I don't know where it is. I should look that up sometime. And I have an email address, a at a.fake, and I've got 555-123-4, and this is a uh, new agent referred to me by somebody. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's a note. So I hit save. Take a look down here at the bottom where these other buttons are. Obviously, edit, save, copy, delete. Those are pretty straightforward. Um, there's a way that you can email an inbox link to the agent so that they can directly add contracts to the system. Uh, we'll be going into that in some detail in a moment. You can download the ICS file, uh, which is essentially a a calendar of things that are associated with this person. Uh, you have the ability to copy this agent into a co-op agent. Now this is something that comes up frequently when uh, you work with the same kind of community of people. Sometimes when you're on a big team you've got both sides of it within your shop. Sometimes you work with multiple shops and you'll have uh, people that you just run into over over time who you have worked with and maybe you want to then hire you as a transaction coordinator and you have the ability to quickly copy them into a co-op agent. The reason that that's important is if you look over on the uh, right side there, sorry, left side, you have the uh, um, agents and you have the co-op agents. And they are two separate lists of people. Um, the agents you're working with, co-op agents on the other side, obviously sometimes uh, you run into situations where you know both parties. Now, sometimes agencies will be their own escrow agents, and this doesn't happen a lot in the experience that we've had so far, but every now and then, the agency that an agent works for is the escrow agent as opposed to somebody in the, um, in the legal community, the attorney. Uh, typically, in North Carolina, where, we've, where our base is and where we're starting, uh, typically that's the attorney, but sometimes it's the agency. Uh, we have the ability to go out and get the calendar information for the entire company, the entire ZZZ agency calendar. Um, and again, that has to do with the uh, tasks that are available and uh, the deadlines and calendar things that are associated with that agency. And you have the ability to download the contact information for Andy Agent uh, that can be imported into uh, any sort of uh, contact list software that you have. Now, I'm going to unselect Andy Agent, and we're going to go back to, to the active contracts. And let's go in and pretend now that I'm Jace Montgomery. I'm working with an agency called Jace Montgomery because that's the first buyer contract, and we just want to use that as an example. Now, what if I want to work with Jace? So I click on there and you'll see it comes in and here are all of the contracts, the active contracts and the whole history of contracts that Jace is associated with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that email address and I'm going to put in my own real working, please don't spam me, email address, wackadoo.info. That's not my phone number. I'm going to hit save. Now the reason that I did that is I'm about to email something to myself. If I come down here and I go back to that email inbox link, 
I see that I'm about to send this to Steve at Wackadoo. There's my personal email address. Oops, don't spam that one either. Uh, it will automatically set up a BCC for that. I will take that out because I'm already, uh, I already know who I am. And here it is. The subject of this email is custom link for submitting contracts. This is an email that I, as a transaction coordinator, am going to send to my agent so that they can submit contracts directly to me that I would look at before I approve. Now, watch this. I come in here and I say, hello, Jason Montgomery. I'm Joe Blow. Uh, here's my email address. Uh, if I had a file I wanted to attach, I could, I could drag and drop that. I'm happy with this. I'm just going to send that email. So I send, yep, okay, yes, I'm sure I want to send that email. Yep, it gives you that double check there. Now, let's watch what happens on my email. Let's come over here, and I am waiting for something to arrive. There it is. Oh, sorry, I had a previous video where I submitted a new contract. So here is Joe Blow, custom link for submitting new contracts. Now, this is important. This is a redirect page. Now, what I mean by a redirect page is if you click on this thing, it's going to open a page in my browser. In fact, I'm going to kill my browser and I'm going to shut that down just so that you get the idea. So here I am on my desktop. Just checking that this is on the screen properly. And if I click that, you'll see that it opens my browser and it takes me into a page and it says, welcome to fictional customer, which is the name of my agency as Joe Blow, the transaction coordinator. You see the name Jace Montgomery, 3% uh, commission administration fee of $350. And so it's, there's a pre-filled in sense to this. And then I as Jace Montgomery, now I've just changed roles from Joe Blow transaction coordinator to Jace Montgomery. I would be able to go in and put in my contract information here and say submit contract to transaction coordinator. And when I do that, this is actually the inbox ad page. It's the same one that we did in the how to add a new contract, how to submit a new contract video, which you should go watch because I'm not going to get into this one. But here's all the information that you need. So I am going to close out of that. Uh, the thing that you need to, before I close out of this, uh, notice that all of these things have field names like admin fee, 350, uh, commission, 3%, agent last name. You see, all, you see all that stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at this email, this link, and I'm going to say, okay, great. This has got the pre-populated information here just as variables on the link. But when I clicked on it, watch it again, you don't have any of that information here on the URL in your browser because it's a redirect page. So what that means is, and I'm going to just click back out to the home page and I'm going to log back in as my test user and I'm going to Go back into contract to close. Now what that means is when I'm in my email as an agent, I want to select this and I want to go into my browser and I want to show, for example, I want to, I want to create a new, uh, I want to add a page. And I'm going to call this uh, new contract. And I'm going to paste that whole thing in there. This is what your agent has to do in order to be able to use this. So I'm going to save that. And you go, there's the new contract page. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to log out and again. I'm just going to leave the browser. I've, by shutting down the browser, I've done that. Uh, when I come into my browser now as, a, as an agent, then there's my new contract link. I can just say new contract, bang. It's got that information already there for my name and that, that kind of thing. And we can adjust any of this, but if the agent first and last name match, then it will line up with Jace Montgomery inside of the system. That's important that those match exactly. And I can fill all that stuff out. So it's very easy to do this for an agent. If I go back and look at the email that we sent them, you will see you need to copy and save the URL where it will be readily available to you, like on your browser bookmark bar. 
Again, you can't click it and then save it. You actually have to cut and paste this thing in. That's important because it's a redirect page. Now notice that the email came from service at wackadoo.info in my name, Joe Blow, as the transaction coordinator. The reason that it doesn't come from my Joe Blow email address is because we're trying to avoid getting tagged as spam. And so we have all of the proper de-spamming things set up on the wackadoo.info uh, website and wackadoo.org if you're working with one of those applications in order to prevent that. We have all of the proper security and all of the proper networking set up so that we validate that yes, we are a valid email sender, but we do put on the information about who we're sending it for. So just so that you're aware, you'll get your name. And again, it depends on how the client does it. Uh, I know that Gmail uh, presents it a little bit differently and lets you look at the details there, um, but we'll leave that alone for now. Okay, let's kill the email and let's kill that. And again, I'm going to come in. I'm going to log in. I am going to get into contract to close. Again, we have other applications. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to say, okay, great. I am Jace Montgomery and I'm looking at the Molina KC contract. And I want to see, as the transaction coordinator, I look at the hot list and I go, okay, this is where things are. However, I want to be able to share with my agent a link that shows them a version of that task list page. It's going to expire in two hours. It's going to go to Jace Montgomery at, the, and again, I put in my work email address here uh, for Jace, just as this example. And it doesn't even tell you, it doesn't even show you the email. It just says, great, it's been sent off. And now for the next two hours, the link that Jace got is going to be good. Again, I'm going to close my browser down and now I am pretending to be Jace looking at my email. I go in and I look at my email as Jace and I'm waiting for that to come through. And this is all live and this is actually working off of the production system. So this is the kind of, you know, this is the sort of timing that you can expect uh, when we're doing this. And I'm waiting for it to come through. So that email actually took a little while to get through. That took four or five minutes for it to come in. Um, in any event, so here I am, email from Joe Blow, again, service at Wackadoo. In preparation for our status call, again, this personalized link expires two hours from now, I, as Jace Montgomery, can now look at the status of the contract for Molina Casey Macias, 7219 4th Avenue. There's a mouthful. And now I click on that link and you see, again, it's one of those redirect pages and they don't have the ability to unselect any of this information, but they can go in and they can click on, just like you can on your task list page, the different information. So they can see which tasks have been done, which tasks have not been done and they can go in and they can drill down and they can see all of the different things that you as a transaction coordinator have to do in order for their contract to get to the closing table, which is kind of the point of this whole thing. So again, the link to this page was only good for two hours. I'm gonna go back to the email client. This link is only good for two hours from the time that it was generated. Um, that's done because you have there's a special encoded encrypted thing going on with this guest ID on the server side. Uh, we call this the Pizza Tracker page. Uh, it's probably not a really good name, but it kind of tells you what it is. This is where, you know, like your Pizza Tracker, this tells you where you are in the process. It tells you which tasks are completed, which tasks are not. And again, this is randomly generated data, so it may not make logical sense. Um, but yeah, you could sit down with your agent and go, yeah, okay, let's talk about uh, due diligence wrap up and what the things are that we have to do with that. We had some stuff going on with the additional earnest money deposit. Uh, you know, what happened here? You, you get the idea. This is how you do your job. Thank you very much for watching the video. We've gone over a couple of things here. First of all, adding an agent. Second of all, sending them a link so that they can submit new contracts to you. Uh, third, 
um, we've talked about how to do the pizza tracker status email and what that looks like to the uh, to the agent on the other end of the uh, line for that. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to us directly as shown on the contact us page at wackadoo.info. Thank you for watching the video.